When the developers uh, for this building first had a vision, their mission was to build the best building in the best part of the best city. That was the mission originally, and the building has remained true to that over time, and uh, that mission statement is still very relevant today. Generally, the number of people in the 101 Con Street building at any one time is close to 4,000 people. So we are a small city, and we provide all services for that. 101 is regarded as Melbourne's premier office building, and we've got uh, a lot of blue chip tenants here that we're very comfortable dealing with. Obviously, there's a need within the community uh, at, at large to make sure we have a sustainable future in the world. And our objective has always been to compete at a very high level with any new building that would get built at any particular time. So if we're not looking forward, looking at uh, creating a sustainable building as best we can in this property, then clearly we're not going to be able to compete. The Green Building Fund enabled us to assess more uh, critically the economic viability of a number of the sustainability projects that we wanted to go ahead with. And the ability to access funds through the Green Building Fund meant we could bring forward the projects. The two areas of significant energy consumption in multi-storey buildings is air conditioning and light and power. The Green Building Fund gave us an opportunity to upgrade our chiller plant, one of our major pieces of equipment, which improved the coefficient of performance of that equipment. So we saved a significant number of kilowatt hours, estimated to be at about 300,000 per annum, kilowatt hours on the use of that unit alone. In light and power, we devoted the funds towards the main foyer lighting. And with the upgrading of that lighting system to modern technology, we could reduce our energy consumption by about 400,000 kilowatt hours per annum. Two other significant areas that we've used the green building funding to help us with is chiller sequencing and motion sensing in the car park. The lights turn off when the place is not in use. That saves us substantial energy by not having to run those lights 24-7. When one reduces lighting load, for instance, one also reduces the heat output that is the building has to deal with, so that reduces air conditioning demand. We became involved in the grant because we can't ignore the economics and a lot of the payback periods for the initiatives that we wanted to put into place are quite significant. The ability to get uh, assistance from the government with the funding uh, basically enabled us to bring forward and condense some of the major programs that we wanted to do to improve the sustainability characteristics of this building. We're really encouraged by how tenants are taking on board this, this project. 101 Con Street is dedicated to being the most efficient building we can be. And our aim, of course, is to be four and a half, five star neighbours with time, excluding green energy. Green energy is a great way to achieve neighbours' ratings. In fact, it's probably what we should all be using because it's emissions-free energy. Nonetheless, we recognise that energy efficiency is where we should be reducing the whole energy consumption role. And we are focused on that. We are currently a two and a half star, nearly a three star building. We expect to be a three and a half star building by the middle of 2012. And we are already looking at implementing programs and technology that will move this building to four and a half stars within a few years of 2012. But we're not going to rest on our laurels. Once we get to four and a half stars, we will continue to look at ways of improving the efficiency of this building and being the best we can be and provide premium services to our tenants on a continuing basis. We're very fortunate that the owners have had a long-term strategic view on the property and it's retained its premier status over the years, very much as a result of reinvestment into the property and creative thinking, looking forward into the future and recognising what the needs and requirements of tenants will be as we move forward. I would certainly encourage other building owners to investigate obtaining uh, assistance with funding through the Green Building Fund. It, it clearly has given us the ability to embark on some very significant projects. I would certainly encourage uh, anyone to at least explore the option of bringing forward projects and obtaining assistance to get them completed in the short term rather than having to stagger it over a much longer period of time.